you know, I, I didn't really understand how women think. I, I didn't understand the game. I had the intangibles. I had the physical appearance. I just didn't know how to, to, to approach the game because I was taught to court a woman at all costs. You know, put women first. Put your lady first before everything. All right, gentlemen, go ahead and hit the like button. Also, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube page. Don't forget to subscribe to my Patreon for more exclusive content. Gentlemen, I want to go ahead and talk about my journey going from a simp to what they call a... Just understanding how to manage the game when it comes to women. When it comes to being a simp, a simp is a man who puts a woman before everything. A simp is a man who puts women before his priorities. A simp is a man who lets women manipulate them and have women do whatever they want them to do. A simp is a guy who comments on women's pictures that don't know that they exist. A simp is a man that has no control of his penis. Now, gentlemen, we gotta understand this. A lot of us see these dudes, these bona fide dudes, especially when I was younger. And I don't wanna call myself, I don't I don't wanna call myself a simp from back in the day, but you know, I, I didn't really understand how women think. I, I didn't understand the game. I had the intangibles, I had the physical appearance. I just didn't know how to, to, to approach the game because I was taught to court a woman at all costs. You know, put women first, put your lady first before everything. Put your significant other first before everything, before your priority, before your purpose. That's what I was taught in the past from watching TV, you know, Kim Possible, being in a friend zone. See, being okay to be in a friend zone after you pursue a woman is a sin. That Kim Possible, Ron Possible, whatever. Yeah, Ron Stoppable, that, he was a sin. Waiting his time. And then he ended up getting her at the end. The Even Stevens. All those TV shows showed guys in a simp form. But you notice that every TV show throughout society, so is the bad guys. Quote unquote bad guys, quote unquote Tyrones and Chads were the ones who got the women. Think about it. The guys who didn't care, the guys who just didn't treat women right were always, or not were, but always the ones that win. I wonder why. Gentlemen, I got a secret formula for you. You don't got to be a dickhead to get women. You don't gotta be a thug to get women. You don't gotta be an angry guy. It all starts with the mindset. Once you change your mindset, fellas, you're gonna go from a simp to a pimp real quick. Changing your mindset, having a disciplined schedule, be more confident, working on your mental health, knowing who you are from within is what's gonna get you the girls. See, a lot of guys complain like, man, I wish I could get all the girls like you. Gentlemen, I'm gonna tell you, change your mindset. I'm gonna tell y'all a quick story. When I was in high school, I wasn't the guy who got on the girl. And I understood why. Looking back, I was hesitant. I was talkative. I was annoying. Um, I had no confidence in myself. I really didn't know how to talk to girls in a, in, a, in a way where I could potentially date them. I didn't put myself in a position to date these women. You know, I was low-key shy as hell, but I would use impulse and being annoying as a way to uh, to hide my shyness, but I was really a, a really shy guy. You know, I was extremely insecure. I just didn't know or understand how this stuff worked. Um, and then when I got to college, puberty started to really kick in. I started to develop a lot more. You know, I was on a college campus with a lot of women and girls were coming at me and I didn't know how to act. I didn't know how to manage. I didn't know how to deal with it. You know, and there was many instances where I got played. There was many instances where I fell in love with girls who were getting ran through. There were so many instances in my collegiate career, and most guys go through this, where you were a simp. You know, throughout my years in college, I would say 50, I was 50% simp and 50% what they call an alpha guy. You know, again, I was a collegiate football player, so I was getting girls off the strength of that. I started to see and understand the game, you know, and honestly, when you're an athlete in college, Women come at you. And around that time period when I was in college, social media wasn't as big as it is now. Um, Instagram had just came out when I got to college. Um, but when Instagram first came out, 
it was more of a just taking pictures, but it wasn't a dating or social experiment until people started posting pictures and looking good and stuff like that. But anyways, when I was in college, man, I did a lot of experimentation. I was a lot of different versions. I was a simp. I was a player. I tried to be an asshole. I tried to be the mean guy. I, I was trying all these different things to see what worked with women. Moving fast forward, when I got to my early years of adulthood, which is post-grad college, you know, I was going through a transition in my life. So I didn't really understand and know what I wanted. All I knew was I needed to find a career and I still want to pursue my football dream. So even in the midst of that, I was not equipped to even get in a relationship or anything serious. But going back to the topic, I was always playing simp and then I would play the alpha. So I was both versions. I would see what results I'd get. Every time I would put a woman before my purpose or aspirations or anything, 100% of the time, it never worked out. She recognized it. She saw it. She was like, don't you have football training? Oh, no, I'll skip it because I just want to talk to you on the phone. I would literally skip my workouts just to talk to a girl, the girl that I really like on FaceTime, just to talk to her. And I put all my purpose aside. I missed that training because I could have got 10 times better if I put 100% effort in that training and then when she ended up finessing me i regretted it and then the moments where i didn't care i didn't acknowledge the girl or i didn't really care about her that's when she wanted me more so that's when i learned i'm like damn i guess i gotta change the mindset and going back to mindset gentlemen it's not being a dickhead or being a, an asshole it's just being confident knowing who you are understanding who you are when it comes to mental health Knowing your goals and being on your purpose, no matter what, whether you're married, whether you're in a relationship, whether you're in a situation, whatever it is, you must always stay on your purpose. And that goes to mindset. Second, you got to start taking an authoritative approach, meaning when you're approaching a woman, you never approach her with a scarcity mindset. You approach her with some confidence. What is the worst she's going to say? No. See, you got to see confident dudes know what they want. They always get the girls because women can feel your energy when you're confident. Women can sense fake confidence and women can sense real confidence. So when you're approaching a woman and you know who you are from your core, you are, whether she says no or not, she's going to know, well, I respect her for being that confident. She's going to notice that. She's going to put you in that other category because I guarantee you when she breaks up with a little boyfriend or whatever it is, she's always going to come back to you because she's going to think, Hmm, I remember that confident guy that came up to me and tried to talk to me. So having the authoritative approach is what's going to get you in the door. You know I mean, being confident, knowing who you are, knowing what you want in life. And when you're a man on your purpose, you know what you want. Approaching women is nothing. They're going to be more intimidated to deal with you. When they see that a man is on his purpose and he's confident and he knows what he wants in life, she's going to be like, damn, I'm intimidated by him. Girl, I don't know what to do. And last, being extremely intentional with every decision you make in life. When people recognize that your decision making is very methodical, when people see how strategic you are as a man, people respect that. That's what separates you from a simp to a pimp. When you are st strategic, whether you are playing the field, whether you are trying to get in a relationship, whether you're trying to get married, every decision you make must be strategic and intentional. You cannot be sporadic. You can't make decisions based off emotion. Every decision that you make must come from logic. So that's why you got to make intentional decisions and not make emotional basis and i talked i had a video about that a couple months back all those components right there fellas is going to separate you from a simp to a pimp honestly i'm not trying to be cocky but and i'm not saying i'm the greatest looking guy in the world but because of my confidence of who i am as a person and my aura women can feel that when i walk into a room they can feel that when i approach women they can feel that women i date know i'm a confident dude they understand that i'm a confident dude because i know what i want i'm on my purpose i know what i want in life and I smell good, and you feel good, and I dress well, and I take care of myself. See, that's that's what's gonna separate you from a simp to a pimp. Every woman I deal with, I let them know, you are not gonna come before my purpose. My purpose, my goals, my ambitions are number one, no matter what. I tell women this all the time before they deal with me. If you're gonna deal with me, you gotta support my content. You gotta uh, accept that this is, what's, this is what I'm gonna be doing. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna compromise and follow her dreams and fall in the lines of her her leadership. Nope. I'm going to do what I do. I'm going to continue making content about what I love doing, which is speaking and helping men improve. So gentlemen, we have to, we have to be intentional fellas. We have to have a mindset. We have to have more of an authoritative approach that's going to separate you from a simp to a pimp. Most importantly, stop playing it safe. 
you got to let these women know what's good. And you got to put them in a place. Women like being checked. See, when you just let her talk talk to you any kind of way, when you're, when you're agreeing with everything she's saying, when you're just letting her slide with just about everything, oh, man, she's seeing that. She's noticing that. She's like, oh, I'm going to eat. I'm going I'm to I'm I'm mutt this dude. I'm going to run through him. Once a woman sees an alley, she's going to run through you. That's why you got to have an abundance mindset. That's why you got to check her shit. That's why you got to make sure she's not going to run through you. But when you're not unsure of yourself, and you don't have a game plan, you don't have a short-term or long-term goal, she's going to run through you. She's going to play games. She's going to leave you on red. She's going to say, oops, my bad. I'm just seeing this message. Oops, my bad. Uh, I forgot to hit the send button, but I fell asleep. All those different excuses, fellas. Gentlemen, I'm at a point in my life where I know when a woman wants me or desires me or a woman just tolerates me or a woman that doesn't want me. I don't put myself in a position where I'm dealing with somebody that does not want me. Choose women who choose you. Stop dealing with women that don't even want you. That's called being a simp, being in her inbox all day long and she's ignoring you, leaving you on, leaving you on red. That's embarrassing. I get so mad when I see dudes in the comment section. Hey, baby, uh, I'm going to send you a cash up. Hey, baby, oh, what you doing here? Oh, man, you looking good in that dress. Gentlemen, we got we to gotta switch it up. We got to do better. We got to get away from that simp mindset and have a more of a pimp mindset. I'm not endorsing the pimp culture, but you notice that pimps have it well mindset-wise. They got a great mindset. They have an abundance mindset. They have an alpha male uh, perspective of things. They have a masculine frame. And that's what I'm trying to get gentlemen to get away from that scent mindset to a pimp mindset. So gentlemen, go ahead and hit the like button. And also, do not forget to subscribe to my page. Don't forget to subscribe to my Patreon for more exclusive content.